Two insiders of even height providing you with updates on the Kings and the Ontario Reign. Thanks so much. I'm John Rosen alongside Ontario Reign insider Zach Dooley. Well, the LA Kings 9-13 and 2 on the season, only one point better than they were at this point last season. But you can tell they're a much healthier team. There is still a mountain for this LA Kings team to climb, and it's going to take a long time. Patience is needed, but those mountain climbing boots, they're a better footing. They're getting that traction. They're climbing the hill. Todd McClellan has been happy with some of their bump up shifts, their shifts after they give up goals. They were challenged with that in the loss in overtime to San Jose in the second period, but responded very well after that timeout. It shows that they still have a good constitution and that, again, this is a healthier team than where they were at at the colder quarter pole a season ago. Like you said, the points are, are about the same, but it's certainly been a different vibe around this Kings team, a very different look around this Kings team. You look at that San Jose game, down three to zero, the Kings come back. I don't think you see that comeback from this Kings team last year. You probably don't see it you know, at, at all. And it's really, it's really been a good change of pace, I think, for the Kings. You're seeing different players, some younger players with excitement, step into, you know, going from prospects who are just exciting to contributors for this Kings team, which is a good time. Yeah, players like Sean Walker, Matt Roy, who we'll get to in just a little bit. Those players came from the Ontario Reign. Uh, Reign right now, 8-8-2 eight, eight and two on the season. They're a little bit challenged for scoring, but got Martin Furk back. But right now, you know that Cal Peterson's going to give them an opportunity to win every single night. They also have Gabriel Velarde, LA Kings first round draft pick 2017, played his first game this past weekend. What did you see? What's the plan for Gabe going forward? Like you said, the rain a little bit challenged for scoring right now, down two goals a game in November from where they were in October. So Gabe Velarde, a big chance to be a scorer on this team. Scoreless in his debut Friday in Tucson, but encouraging signs. Mike Stuthers, happy with how Gabe Velarde played, hit a post in the first period, created a nice breakaway chance for himself in the second period that he wasn't overly happy with himself about. He likes to make plays in that situation, tried to shoot five hole. Those are the kind of things that are going to come for him as he gets his timing back. It's going to take a little bit of time for him to get back into game situations. First time he's played in almost a year, so it's going to take a little bit of time for Gabe. He's expected to play tonight for the rain against Stockton, and we'll take it from there. Busy weekend, three games, Wednesday and Friday at home for the Ontario Reign. A chance you might see Derek Forbert there for one of those games as well. He is nearing a rehab assignment. Hockey operations says that they want to get him a few games. Meanwhile, next man up mentality for the LA Kings. Alec Martinez, of course, suffering an injury that required surgery to repair uh, some of the arteries in his arm. That was uh, uh, you know, something where you wish the absolute best for Alec Martinez. That's the First and foremost, what you're thinking of, uh, he's expected to make a full recovery as the team has shared. But again, that next man up, you're really going to see a lot of Sean Walker. Ultimately, one would hope Derek Forbert return. Matt Roy has shown the ability to step in there and now is activating, showing good confidence. So they're going to run with it. Land of opportunity, as uh, one former LA Kings coach had said. Well, you see Sean Walker, you see Matt Roy starting to do the things and show that confidence that they had last season with Ontario. Because Sean Walker was almost a point per game player with the rain last season. With the Kings, not so much. He comes up this year. You're seeing a lot more of Sean Walker that we saw last season in the AHL. He's playing with confidence. And like you said, Matt Roy starting to do the same thing. Matt Roy had eight goals last year for the Ontario rain. He was a goal scorer. He was a power play guy for the rain. He's starting to show those instincts offensively where he's going to be contributing the same way in the NHL that maybe he was in the AHL too. It's good to see those types of players bringing their game and playing that style back with the big club Matt Roy has shown that confidence recently that's a good sign heading forward next 20 games very important part of the season we've seen those real glimpses of the Kings adhering to that structure out shooting out chancing their opponents their expected goals percentage when you start looking at the chance and uh, opportunity based metrics they're quite good but right now we knew that this was going to be an LA Kings team that was going to take some time to really get comfortable to the 1 3 1 under Todd McClellan they're getting there again we still talk about there being that marathon to run as McClellan has shared the next 20 games are that opportunity to continue to dig into that system System and show that they're not only capable of out shooting, playing the shots ball as we call it on LA Kings Insider, but winning some games, collecting points in the standings. Shots are there, like you said, they're out shooting teams pretty consistently, you know, night in and night out, and it's a matter of converting those shots to, to goals, which you think is uh, eventually going to come. You expect a regression to the mean at some point with that, and like you said, the Kings probably playing a little bit better than their record might indicate, so that's certainly a good sign. Thanks again for tuning in here, checking us out. I'm John Rosen, LA Kings Insider. This is Zach Dooley, Ontario Rain Insider.